Good morning and welcome everyone. We're sitting with a guest. Uh, his name is Ahanjit Vatacharya. He is a PhD candidate at UC San Diego and he studies chemistry and biology. So welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Can you tell us, Ahanjit, what question does your research uh, seek to answer? Okay, so uh, I'm dealing with a very fundamental question in, uh, I would say, whole of science, that what exactly life is and how is life different from non-living? Okay. Just a small question to, answer, to yeah. ask people, huh? So how do you go about answering that question? Okay, so uh, let me give you a little bit of background uh, to answer this question. Uh, so life, I mean, it has been shown previously that uh, the building blocks of life, like sugars, then proteins, fats, they can form spontaneously from non-living objects uh, in nature. And even uh, these molecules have been found in meteors, in extraterrestrial space. So that's, uh, that led to the scientists to think that uh, these molecules can be put together and organized uh, so, that, uh, so that they can uh, come up with something more complex as life. Okay. Uh, so what I do is that like, I take such uh, very small building blocks, put them together, and try to see when we have something of a superior assembly and which shows some of the basic functions of life. What has been the most exciting um, findings that you've discovered in your work? Okay, so uh, I, I made some uh, like structures which resemble unicellular organisms like bacteria or amoeba. Uh, so if I feed them with nutrients and give them some external stimulus, they are able to grow and divide just like uh, living cells do. So what are some of the implications of this time, uh, kind of growth and division that you can apply to things in life? Well, uh, I won't say that uh, we have uh, an application right now because we are more working in fundamental science, but this will help us uh, to understand that how uh, life originated on Earth in the first place, and also we can uh, predict that how life can originate somewhere else. How did you get interested in this type of work? Uh, it, it was actually uh, something uh, very interesting and uh, it's related to UCSD itself. So when I was uh, in my 8th uh, grade or something like that, uh, I was reading a popular science magazine and there I read, read about uh, one experiment which was done by a young scientist at UCSD in the 1950s. So his name was Stanley Miller. So what he did uh, was he took a mixture of different uh, atmospheric gases and passed electricity through that. And interestingly, like he ended up having some of the basic building blocks of life, like sugar, amino acids. So that made me think that if, if I can have the building blocks of life from so, something so simple, so why can't we synthesize life in a test tube? I think that was the biggest inspiration. And finally, I ended up in UCSD. What a great connection. That's, that is a wonderful connection. Yes. And what great inspiration for our eighth graders out there too. <laughs> so thank you very much for being with us today. Okay, thank you.